Hi friend! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and today I will talk a little bit about what do I eat post myomectomy. Um, I don't have lists or anything like that. This is just me having a conversation right now. Um, <laughs> one of the one of the things that I hope that most people have taken out of the diet at this stage in the journey is chicken because chicken has hormones in it that will get you that get you to have your fibroids in the first place. Um, so removing it from your diet would be a good thing. I am eating a pescatarian diet, I guess you could call it, because it's just fish. And I eat um, fruits, vegetables. Um, I try not to eat as much white bread, but it is what it is right now. I can't say I completely take it out on my diet. Um, there are... I don't eat... I try to minimize the amount of chocolate in my diet. That's personal. Um, there is also minimizing the amount of sugar in my diet. This is, like I said, I just had this surgery a few weeks ago, not even a month yet. So a lot of this is learning how to take care of the body and readjust to the best um the best type of lifestyle for me and i believe most people are more interested in not having a recurrence of this um of fibroids or so it would make sense that um you would want to have things in a certain kind of way. Um, what else happens after you get let out of the hospital? Um, today I took like the last stomach pills. Um, so no painkillers anymore, no antibiotics, no, no anything. Um, it's all right. Um, I guess that's a celebratory um, thing to be happy about. I, you are still required to go and have the wound dressed, so I'm still on <laughs> a three-day cycle. Um, eventually you get to three days, you start at three days and then you get to five days and I believe at some point you go to the gynecologist again and get the, um, get the, you get a checkup, figure out where you are in your healing process. Um, that's basically what has been happening in terms of like diet i can't necessarily exercise yet my doctor told me three months before i start any kind of exercise program i have other people heard other people say like a couple of weeks that's them um i try to I, all right, so I supposed to be resting. <laughs> I supposed to like um, ambulate is the word where you just walk around and give your body that kind of you know exercise, I guess, but very, very gentle. Um, just walking. I had thought that I would like get up in the mornings and go and like have um, just a gentle walk, but I haven't done that yet. Um, 
I will say I am trying to be a better morning person and this is a good a good a good reason to try to get that sorted and get that done. Um I don't necessarily know what is like <laughs> I don't necessarily know what you want to know about a myomectomy. Um more than you what a, more than the fact that it is you know surgery that you go under anesthesia for it is um to take out all the fibroids and you have different ways to do that but i chose to to um is my nap time <laughs> i didn't take a nap today yet. So um, there is that. I think I am um, not necessarily doing. All right. So you know, like when I guess right now with quarantine, where when you could go everywhere, you didn't want to go everywhere, and because you say you can't go anywhere, you want to go everywhere. That's kind of it with me. Like I usually would be. Uh, resting kind of chill kind of person and know that i had the surgery i want to do stuff I want. oh you can lift things that's really important because like your wound is still kind of healing from the inside out, outside in I don't know. um so even if things look good on the outside you still have major I don't necessarily want to call it trauma, but it, it's you had a major surgery, so you should take things easy, take things slow. Um, like I don't feel like resting a, a lot of the times when I should. Um, I want to be more active and do things. Um, but I will get over that. I guess um, this whole doing the videos thing is a good thing in terms of um, something to do during the process of healing, something to keep me accountable during the process of healing. Um, yeah, so this is i don't even remember what week it is at. but hey can get my handy dandy journal <laughs> um so let's see when i got out the hospital Everything is all pencil. It's cute. Where am I? Fresh blood. Where am I? Um, two cents. I'm afraid I'm not at the hospital, so it's definitely not the day. Um, oh no. Like I said, I kept a journal. So I would remember things that I wanted to remember. Blood, more blood. <laughs> um, definitely a vampire or something like that. Um, these pain pills. This is uh, last night. I gave myself a reminder. Okay. That was all. I was already home. So where are my things? Where are my things? Um, dreams. It's sunrise. Or is this Tupac? <laughs> oh, it's really cute. <laughs> oh, God. Obviously, I was heavily medicated. Um, hmm. um oh, blood type. I am a positive, so <laughs> it's a good thing. Um, hi there, I'm a positive. <laughs> um, where is this? So 
So I will say it's Friday, August 21. So if it was Friday, August 21st, this is my first week of autumn hospitals. Cool. Um, I said, I feel like, I feel like it was the, oh, I guess. When did I go in there? Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is like my first week. <laughs> See, I, I, I am rushing things again. Um, <clears throat> um, I guess I'm impatient. And uh, I want to be at a different place in terms of can go back to doing everything that I'd normally do. But at the same time, I do enjoy some things. I'm like, not having to, like, being really easy with myself. And I guess that's super important right now. Um, it is, it is, uh, yeah, probably seven here. Air, 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 air. Drink water. Air. Oh, so it was, yeah, it was literally last, so literally two weeks ago. So I went in town at 17 and nap time. I was just checked in. Nurse checked me in. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> I can't read you from the 17, I guess. So, 2 p.m. came to UA, 8.30, and checked in. My doctor was calling me, but I didn't get the call from her. Um, everybody knows, you know, and so far, I numbers. <laughs> but in this case, I should have. Um, but... I was already at the hospital, so it's okay. Um, yeah, what else? Um, so I was manifesting health, two healthy, happy blood donations. I got one, and I'm grateful. Um, that, 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 that. Uh, so it's nap time. Nurse checked me in. So this was like somewhere after two. Um, I'd eat supper somewhere after five. And like I said, it is important for you to record your um, fluids that leave your body. So that was that was like um, <laughs> my favorite nurse came in and we we're talking. Um, so it's easy. So it's easy for you to get back and get like the relevant information to um, your nurses and your doctors, and you are a part of the process as well. Um, after recovery, I will wear red. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, you will do an edema. <laughs> on the first night, on the night before you do surgery. Um, yeah, fun. Enemas. Um, it is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, um, you need to do that because you need all, all your, um, you still don't need to be empty. Your, um, and this is for your safety because um, I, you can't have the surgery on like a full stomach. You can't have the surgery if there's food in you. So um, even the even my supper that I got, it was very light. I think it was like porridge. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, I got banana porridge. That was good. Um. um my backup plan. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
so cute. Um, so then I'd wake up and I'd have my shower and I'd prep for surgery and this was like 6 a.m. in the morning. 6 in the morning. And um, not sure the time, just not how the morning for tomorrow operating on my... So I had a 7.30. Oh, so... Uh, oh, so this was what happened. Um, when I went in, um, checked in, did my work, my whole blood, it's not blood work, it's like, yeah, you get, you have to draw blood and a couple other things, but you check in and after, in the night, um, you had something really light to eat. Uh, it was like, Porridge, like I said, and you get your enema. <laughs> and early in the morning, you wake up something like six, and you shower. I shaved from the night before, um, but you shower, shave the area that you're going to um, get operated on, and um, then. Um, I drank water, but after a certain, it was seven in the night. I think it was seven in the night. After a certain point, like you're not supposed to have fluids in you at all, at all, at all, at all. Um, you're not supposed to have anything in your stomach. Um, so then you get ready, and from seven thirty in the morning, you have to you be prepared for when a nurse and an orderly come in to wheel you to the surgery area and I write um, prayers and that was cute. Um, so uh, yeah, I did that too. So you have to be weird because of COVID and Probably today I will upload my um, COVID test. I haven't even seen it yet, but um, because of COVID, you have to wear a mask, obviously, straight in out. Um, so that was not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I set clear intentions when I was when I was like heading into the operating area. I set clear intentions for myself. Um, so one of my clear intentions was, my clear intention is for this procedure to come out. Oh, my clear intention for this procedure is to come out healthier and sexier and more connected with my guides and ancestors. Um, I intend to feel, be, and be more intuitive, clear, and, and clear all blockages from my chakras and are removed and pure abundance energy with healthy boundaries. I can feel the flow. So that was one intention that I set. Um, I think that was something good and that was something healthy and, and I actually feel um that was successful um that's just me if it serves you it serves you if it don't then you do something else i like find find i find that certain intentions especially in, in things like that will be helpful to you if it helps you it does if it doesn't it doesn't um there's pain i like um, no, this is the last time I will be experiencing this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I was... Uh, TMI, TMI, TMI. So, um, I, I was close to my menstrual cycle that day. And usually when I, when I had fibroids, I would be experiencing pain. 
like days before and sometimes a week before um and that was something that i know is of the past now <laughs> and um i'm grateful for that so you know there is that um what else is good that i can share um antibiotic oh injection <laughs> Well, I got my antibiotic injections, so I got it on my right leg right here. I still feel like an injection site lump thing. It's this one on, there's other one on my butt that I still feel sometimes, but that's just because I think that was, that one was uh, some, did I give my morphine or is it, was it, um, I don't remember. Um, I have it written down somewhere though, but painkillers. So you get injections, you're in, you have like IVs and whatever. Um, oh, the pain was for, the pain was Voltaren. You get that. Um, yeah, what else was there? Um, it's just a whole lot of <laughs> drinking water, <laughs> taking pills. Um, yeah, I had like to wake up for 13 or four o'clock. It's like four o'clock in the morning, by four o'clock in the mornings, every morning you would wake up, you would, you know, freshen up yourself. This is post-surgery in the days following, like, so this is like the day after so i went in on monday did the surgery tuesday morning and i friday i was out so every morning in that period like the tuesday to friday i would wake up at 4 4 30 have to freshen up um get myself prepared that's a shower <laughs> yeah, but I didn't show up because, like, I didn't w want to, um, I tied it, you know, right, yeah, whatever. Um, I never want my, my, um, because I got in trouble with one of the nurses when I took a shower before and my hand was wet and she was like, you're not supposed to get your, um, not supposed to get your bandages wet. So I didn't want to get my bandages wet because important uh, so i didn't shower shower until like until like honestly until like couple like this week so this week or early like no yeah this yeah i think it's like this week i started to shower <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I can, like, figure out, like, showering without having, and I'm not that successful, but I, why I'm not so um, put out by it is because I know that, like, within a few days, I'm going to change my bandages again, so even though I try to be really careful and not get the air wet, when I shower in, um, it's hard, so, um, I just kind of do my best. Um, so yeah, what ends up happening is you are gonna have like a really regular schedule type of um, experience where you're taking um, showers at a certain time, you're getting food at a certain time, you're being checked around the clock and um, you're getting charted. Um, <laughs> methadine injection for hours call for help make you drowsy <laughs> all right um drunk water took a pill augmenting antibiotic infection uh injection blood thinner tidy freshen up to start Tuesday. i think it was tuesday it's the 20th that was for the 20th. no so it was thursday 
to start today. Um, I anticipate I will be leaving soon, maybe tomorrow I will be discharged. I'm always confused. <laughs> I should go. What's that? I want to say, I want to say bed to, but, but should I, I do morning, oh, do morning pages, um, oh, it's not bed, it's, I don't even know what I write there, I was medicated, that's my excuse, I'm sticking to it, um, should I eat a snack, I have decided against the snack idea, mostly because of, Inter okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I want to stay ahead of the curve regarding my diet and exercise, so that's why I never really take a snack. Um, yeah, whatever. Um, what's my blood type? A positive, no, I know. Um, great emperors, all right, so. Uh, I was writing like my ideas just to make sure that things that I needed to do I would remember them um, that's normal but especially during that procedure that process for me it was important to have like a stream of consciousness um, some kind of some kind of reminder to myself because I was sure like I said for me, this is the first time I have done major surgery, so um, I didn't know what to expect, and I found that writing helps me to navigate some other world. Um, so there is that. It's hot in Jamaica, can you see? <laughs> um, so, okay, all right. Um. <laughs> This is cute. So, um, which day was this? This was still Thursday. Yeah, it's still Thursday. And um, this was before breakfast. Listen, I was on a roll getting, <laughs> getting in like important ideas and, and getting things done. Like, you created a morning person out of me. I am slightly impressed. Uh, so, and then, funny when I got this journal, I did not know I would be writing my experiences from a hospital bed. Um, life is unpredictable, and I appreciate my growth. I feel empowered to do a yoga challenge. <laughs> I have, oh, uh, I have, I have right boundary. I have, oh, I was writing some more boundaries. I don't take a nap now. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I was, How old was I? I was like, I was like a three-year-old. I had like this really great nap time. Um, I'm not sure. Comment down below, cause I have this thing where there are songs in my dream. So when I dream, sometimes they're like real songs, not songs from real world songs, but like songs just. I mean, sometimes I write them down if I remember them. So there was like songs in my dreams, and sometimes I would when I when I here is the thing. So I don't always write my things down, even though I should. So I wrote them down when I remember. Them. And then that was like a holy for. <laughs> this was a whole lot of um measuring my fluids. So um there was that um. Post surgery, I would suggest that you drink a lot of water because you're getting so much medication in you. So if you can, and if it serves you, just drink. Or if you can, because I don't know how your process and your body is going to like go through this. But like, 
drink a lot of water um, so that you can flush your system, so that it can help your system in terms of um, feeling better sooner. Um, so then Friday, 3.33 a.m. The synchronicities. <laughs> um, I was writing, um, yeah, I was really grateful that I was alive and I made it through and it was, you know, there was a lot of water and I'm more, uh, there was more music and water and the street was like, water, water, water. Um, more pills, more nurses, more measuring of fluids, more dreams, but like that was, that was essentially it. Friday, I got out so it's just you spend a week in the hospital basically and you come out a better person um i really hope that like more people actually who need it find a way to do it like i said a lot of people may have issues in terms of it might be a little bit expensive you may be afraid to do it but I will be one of those voices that tell you that on the other side, you feel so much better and you look so much better. Your body feels so much better. Um, for me right now, like I can see, um, I can see improvements in my body. So, and, and this is not even like we've been having it for months or whatever. It's like just a few weeks. I was literally out. This is the f so last week was one full week. I was out of the hospital. This is like a week and so it's like a week and two days. I'm out of the hospital. Week and three days. Yeah, a week and three days. I'm out of the hospital, and I actually seen like results. <laughs> <laughs> in my body so um yeah i did it and if you have fibroids if you have any kind of situation where you realize that this is a option i would suggest that you find a way to get it done because you will be so much better for it um yeah so that's kind of my journey. I'll probably, I don't know, what do you want me to talk about? Do you feel like you want to hear more about what was in, like, what was the process like? I will figure out what it is um, as we go along with this process. Um, happy Monday. <laughs> like, comment, share this video.